All right, a few words here about um, carboys or other fermenting, fermentation vessels and skunking beer. Uh, basically, anytime you have a glass carboy, like you see here, or even a plastic one, anytime your fermenter is uh, transparent, you know, just like glass, you always want to cover your carboy in uh, a t-shirt or a blanket. I, I just use regular white t-shirts, just drape them over. Uh, or you can leave them like in a closet where it's dark. It doesn't matter. The point is, you want to keep the mass sunlight. Uh, sunlight, sunlight and UV rays only skunk beer. What happens is there's a particular wavelength of sunlight. I forget what it is off the top of my head. And it, it, it uh, causes a chemical reaction in the hops. Even though the hops have been boiled into, there's still the, you know, there's still the flavoring in there, and it causes skunky beer, and it only takes a matter of minutes. So, uh, anytime you know, you're going to have an, uh, you know, a glass carboy like you see here, uh, always cover it or keep keep it in darkness somehow. Whether it's a black plastic bag, a black t-shirt, a white t-shirt, uh, a closet, a, a throat blanket, a towel. It doesn't matter. Just don't let sunlight or UV rays get into it. Now, I had a discussion with a brewer here a long time ago that he said um, he claimed any lights whatsoever skunk it, even regular kitchen lights. Well, maybe his did. Mine don't. I've, I have left my carboys open under regular kitchen lights, not on purpose, but I've done it for uh, two hours without skunking. It is only sunlight and anything with any lights produce UV rays, not regular lights. So if someone's getting off regular lights, you might want to double check they're not UV. Other than that, that's, that's um, a little safe precaution there. Just keep your carboys covered and out of the sunlight. If there's any question at all, throw a shirt or something over it because, you know, it's not worth getting skunky beer. How will you know if it's skunky? As soon as you rack it into your bottling bucket or your cake or whatever, you will know. It's going to smell absolutely horrible. So there will be no question in your mind. It's just much easier to put just a raggedy t-shirt or something over the top of it and let it sit for a few weeks to ferment. So that's all.